Okay guys, I'm doing a video to show you what to do if you just got a new Mac. This is the, um, let me just show you here. This is the new Mac 10.71, uh, which I think, I believe is called Lion, Lion, but anyway, 10.71. And my student just bought one of these on my recommendation. And I'm gonna show you what to do to, uh, to get your iMovie started. Now, first of all, you have your dock down here where you have all your applications. And you can see all that. Now, uh, you, as you can see, iMovie is not there. Now, on my computer over here, where's mine? On my computer, which is a little bit different, right? You can see that iMovie is there, right there, the dock, right? See it? There it is. Can I, can I go forward on this? Okay, there it is. Anyway, all right, you can't really see it. But okay, anyway. <laughs> uh, what we want to do is go, go to your, you hit, you hit your finder once. And then this will this window will open. Then you want to hit your application on your computer. If it's in English, you'll you'll hit application. And then there's the iMovie. What you want to do is drag it down to your dock bar and drop it wherever you like. We're gonna drop it there. Then we're gonna close this window. And now we're gonna open it up. Now you might be thinking, oh, it's easy, but actually on the new Macs, on all the iMovies actually on all the Macs. When you open up your iMovie for the first time, and it looks like this, this is a tour which we don't need to take. Something it doesn't really show you, maybe it shows you on the tour, but most people don't know actually, is if you go here at the very top of the menu bar of iMovie, go to, let's see, Kankyo uh, Sette, which is your, uh, what is it called in English? I don't even know. But the second one, when you're in the iMovie menu, the second one down, your uh, settings and you get another window that opens and here it'll say advanced tools or something like that if it's Japanese it's easy it's just a ko what does that say kodo kodo na tsuro hyoshi so please show click that and it's, I don't know if you noticed you didn't notice let me turn it off see if you turn it on these things appear here at the top and what that enables you to do is things that you were not able to do before. Let me show you, this is already set up. You, you need to import some things. So for example, we're working on a video here with Tomoko. And if we drag Tomoko's video here, and then click on it, right, it gives you all these options that did not exist before. So for example, if we want to do a green, well, this would be a ridiculous green screen. If we wanted to put this picture here, you gives you many more options now that you've done that. Many, many more options exist now. For example, the green, the well, the half the side, the uh, what, fifty percent screen, for example. Tomko looks crazy in it. Okay. <laughs> or if you wanted to do something else, for example, uh, let's just pick another random. Drop it in there. You could do. Whoops, that didn't work. You could do screen in screen as you can see now there's two tomokos you can move that around right screen in screen that works too so there's many different things you can do so if you have a new mac that's what you got to do okay and then you can do a lot of things on iMovie that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise thanks for watching this is uh, victor for partner island talk to you soon